gonna be consistent now and oh i'm gonna be on my grind da -da -da -da. then bam i can't use my camera Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time seeing me. My name is Diamond Janae here on YouTube if you guys do not know. And if you're into fashion, makeup, beauty, hair, vlogs, all that good stuff, consider subscribing to me, join the family and all that fun stuff. So without further ado in today's video, as you guys can see by the title today, I'm basically going to be doing like a chit chat get ready with me type of situation. And basically catch up with you guys, let you guys know what's been going on with me, all that fun stuff, and why I've kind of been like MIA and not the most consistent. And on top of that too, I haven't really done my makeup at all in like a week and a half, almost two weeks. So like I'm really itching to just do something like... It's probably going to be something basic because I'm not the best at talking and doing my makeup at the same time. So we will see what happens. But yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the rest of the video. Honestly, I'm probably not even going to do anything too crazy when it comes to my eyes. But for those of you guys that may or may not know, I always prefer to do my eyes first. And then the rest of my makeup for multiple reasons. Reason number one is because, God forbid, if I mess up on my eyes or something like that, it's easier just to wipe off and fix like that compared to my face makeup already being done and me jacking up my eyes. It's just a hot mess, at least in my opinion. It's just way easier to do it this way. But yeah, like I said earlier, I'm not trying to have my eyeshadow look be too, too, too crazy because I kind of want more of the focus to be like on my actual like lashes that I'm about to plop on. Anyways, so I'm planning on taking pictures from my website and whatnot. So yeah, your girl. Listen, this is gonna be like a chit chat slash like life update because I feel like a lot has happened in like the last two weeks. Like I don't know if some of you guys can tell, but I haven't been the most consistent when it comes to my YouTube channel. And honestly, for the most part, that's on me and it's like my fault because I wasn't, like I was basically being lazy. I was being like lazy slash discouraged just because it's like, I work a full-time job at a bank and for some of you guys that may or may not know that is mentally exhausting like y'all don't understand like there be some days where I'm just like yo I'd rather be physically exhausted than mentally exhausted because that I don't know I feel like that just takes a whole different toll on you but then again I guess it just depends on what you can handle as a person but like my job has been so mentally draining it's ridiculous and it sucks because honestly by the time i even get home because mind you i work a nine to five so basically by the time i even get home it's basically like 5 30 ish so it's like by the time i get home i really don't even feel like doing anything and that's not good at all because i'm trying to do my whole like influencer entrepreneur type join you know what i mean and i'm not going to be able to do that if i don't put the work and effort into it you know what i mean next i'm going to be moving on to my face because again my eyes super basic super simple i'm still waiting for my lashes to dry and whatnot so i'm just gonna move on to my face because i'm not trying to have this video take forever in a day because again i still got other stuff i gotta do after this but moving on to my face i'm going to be using the milk high i said milk <laughs> milk hydro grip primer by milk cosmetics and guys, honestly, this is definitely worth the investment. I feel like, I mean, it definitely isn't drugstore primer. I know that for sure. Because I think this is like 30 I think it was like $30. So it's definitely not like super affordable. But honestly, I feel like it's worth the money. But yeah, guys, so funny story, right? So I actually was trying to take pictures for my website last, was it last week? I think it was like last week or like a week and a, actually no, it was more like a week and a half ago, right? So what ended up happening was I literally was like maybe like 30 to 40% done shooting the pictures. Like I had like two eyelashes done, like two different styles of eyelashes done. And then literally guys, all of a sudden my camera fell off of my tripod. Like literally 
Boom, now mind you, I was taking these pictures while I was standing up and I'm 5'6", so lo and behold, my tripod was basically at six foot. So literally, my camera was like, boom. And the frustrating thing about that situation is the fact that everything on my camera looked fine. Like even now, like there's nothing wrong with my camera. It's just something happened with the lens, like the other lens I was using. And I honestly, to this day, do not know exactly what the heck happened. Next, we'll meet on to foundation. I'm going to be going into the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation from Fenty Beauty. And if anybody was wondering, I am in the shade 350. But yeah, guys, so long story short, I ended up not being able to film a gosh darn thing because for some reason it kept saying that my lens wasn't unlocked even though it was unlocked. So lo and behold, unfortunately, I had to go out and get a new camera lens, but shout out to my fam because they definitely came through. I texted the family group chat and let everybody know what was going on and everybody basically came through to help me buy a new camera lens and it's funny because god works in mysterious ways so god was like you know what let me take this away from her to give her an update because lo and behold the i got a new canon camera lens but it's not the exact same lens that i've been filming with before but long story short the new lens that i bought is actually better and on top of that comes with more accessories and it wasn't as expensive as if i would have bought bought the same exact lens that I had originally if that makes any type of sense so basically I just got a different lens but I got a better deal because I got more accessories to go with it so I'm really excited to try that out to see because I'm trying to like get better when it comes to like my photography and like filming skills in general like I'm not trying to do like the same point and shoot type of situation you know just grow and evolve and just improve my content overall especially like making it more enjoyable for you guys to watch and whatnot but yeah so honest to goodness that's the reason why i have not been consistent on youtube at all because and the thing is too i feel like i look mad stupid because literally i went through a time that I wasn't being consistent i was being lazy and then I dead shot like two or three different videos and I was like, yeah, I was like, I'm gonna be more consistent now. Da -da -da -da. Like, I'm gonna be more consistent. Like, I'm taking this social media thing seriously. I'm taking my YouTube channel seriously. Like, I'm gonna be uploading videos every other day type, type time. Like, that's the type of time I was on. I was like, yeah, I was like, I'm gonna be uploading videos more often. Da -da -da -da. And of course, me running my mouth. I forgot to put water in my beauty blender. I'll be right back. But do you guys see how my eyes just instantly just look like blat out once I put my lashes on? Like, y'all don't understand. This was such a long time coming. And I'm excited. I'm finally taking the steps and getting everything situa si situated. Yeah, situated to launch my business. And I'm just so excited and just so ready. Like, like I've had I've had over 100 pairs of eyelashes just sitting in a box in the corner of my room since income tax, waiting for me to basically get a move on with getting everything started. And it's just like, it's finally starting to happen and I'm super excited and just, mm. Like, I know, I just have a feeling in my gut that this is like a, like a, like a shift, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you feel like something's gonna happen and something's gonna change soon in your life. Like, that's how I feel right now. And that's really exciting for me. I don't know about you guys, but it's hot as crap in my room right now. And I don't want to have the air conditioner on because then you hear it in the background and that just bothers me for some reason. So I, I'm gonna try to push through, but yeah, I don't know what it has been what it has been i don't know what it is but lately like the past week week and a half i get hot so quick i'm just like like it's just so humid and muggy it's disgusting like i hate that so next moving on to concealer i'm going to be using the milani conceal and perfect concealer y'all listen there's a gnat in my room and it's ticking me off but that's besides the point y'all listen this concealer is probably like one of the best drugstore concealers out there in my humble opinion like this concealer i would definitely say is probably like a dupe for the fenty beauty um pro filter i think it's called the fenty beauty pro filter concealer like honestly this is a very 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 good dupe for it so if y'all want something that's very similar to it but you don't want to fork out the money this is like what like eight i think it's like seven eight dollars at walmart 
I'm in the shade 150 Sam, by the way. I'm also going to leave all the products in the description box below if you guys were curious. I think maybe in the future when I do do these, like, girl talk videos, I'm probably not going to be, like, stopping every two seconds to tell you guys what I'm using just because I feel like it just takes up time, so... Yeah, we'll see. Let me know in the comments if you guys like the way it's set up now or if you guys wouldn't mind me just throwing it in the description box and just keep going, you know? Because I lose track of what I'd be talking about. Like, I hope this video doesn't look all over the place by the time I go to edit it. But yeah, so back to what I was saying earlier. So when I was gone for another two weeks off of YouTube, basically, I just felt like I looked so stupid because I was dead talking about, Oh, I'm going to be consistent now. And oh, I'm gonna be on my grind. Da -da -da -da. Then bam, I can't use my camera. And I'm just like, really? And I was really kind of freaking out too because my birthday is next week, August 31st. I'm lit. <laughs> okay. So, but anyway, so your girl is turning 24. I can't believe that. Well, Lord willing. But yeah, like, time really flies. Like, it really, really, really really flies like that is insane to me like wow and it's crazy because honestly i went through like a small period in my life when i felt some strong type of way because of the fact that i imagined myself in a way different space when i was 24 years old like when i imagined me being 24 i did not imagine me being where i'm at right now but again i'm taking steps towards growing and you know, evolving into what I actually want to be and what I actually want to do with my life. So I'm taking the steps towards it. So just because I'm not there yet doesn't mean I'm never going to get there. It just takes time and it takes effort and it takes energy, you know. So, slowly but surely, your girl going to keep it pushing and I'm going to be able to reap the benefits of my harvest that's the right pronunciation for it right i think so but yeah like guys i i but the thing is too like even though i wasn't able to technically film funny thing is no that's a lie i did try to film a video the other day because i'm like you know what i haven't uploaded on youtube in like over a week let me try to do something so i dead sat there and shot a whole video of me trying to do like the leah j 12 minute makeup challenge because i'm just like you know what let me just do something quick and simple that i can get edited and filmed all in the same day or all in the same night afternoon whatever because again i do work full time still and funny thing i did edited that i sat down and filmed that joint i edited that joint so i did the whole thing on my iphone 11 pro right for some reason, the video quality was just bothering the crap out of me. Like, guys, like, I'm just like, I'm like, I don't even want to. And I never ended up uploading it because I'm just like, I don't even, I don't like the way it turned out. I didn't even beat the challenge, by the way. Spoiler alert. It took me 15 minutes to do my whole face and not 12. I still did it under 15 minutes, but I didn't beat the challenge. So spoiler alert on that one. But I'm just like, I don't even want to upload this. I just did not like the camera quality at all. But yeah, I was just not feeling the camera quality whatsoever. Like, I was not happy at all. Oh, and by the way, I'm using the Fenty Beauty. Let me let me hold up the cap, whatever. But I'm using the Fenty Beauty um, banana powder, if anybody was wondering. Listen, there's I'm cheap. Like, the majority of makeup products that I own are drugstore, but I am dipping and dabbing into more high-end makeup as well to kind of be more diverse. But listen, let me tell y'all something. This powder is worth it. Like, if you're somebody who's cheap and you're just like, is it really worth me spending that much money on? Like, this is like 30 or 35 dollars. This is worth it. Like, this smoothed out my face so much. It just, I, I personally have no complaints. Like, honestly, if I were y'all, I would go and pick up the setting powder. Like, it's worth the money. And I'm basically just gonna bronze and warm up my face using the Maybelline City Bronzer. The reason why I'm not holding it up close is because it looks so ghetto. Because I dropped this drawn like so many times and basically there's almost like no product left and of course I always tell myself that oh I gotta restock up on certain products and da -da -da -da, and I always forget about it until I'm actually filming and I always forget about it until I'm actually filming and I'm just like oh yeah I was supposed to get such and such and I'm like oops you know but there's still something in here like I'm gonna still use it like you must have lost your mind if I paid my hard earned, hard earned, hard earned money for this. I'm gonna use it. 
until it hits the pan. Like if I like it, I'ma use it until I hit pan. Like you would have thought I was just gonna have it up in the corner somewhere and never touch it again. <laughs> No, I love when I see my face just coming together, you know, but yeah, this this contour is just a little bit too harsh Even my chin. Oh my gosh This side doesn't look as bad like on camera It looks harsh, but in person it looks fine, which is kind of weird because it's usually backwards Like usually like camera washes out your makeup and then in person it looks more vibrant if that makes sense. I think it does. I think it does. We're, we're good. So next I'm going to be going into the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder to basically help blend everything in and to also help diffuse the harsh contour that I just put on my face. And I'm looking for one of my brushes out of my little cute pencil cup full of brushes. Like y'all, when I be having to clean these brushes, I just be thinking to myself like, where did I even get all of these from? Next I'm going to be going into the BH Cosmetics Blushy and Bali Palette. And I've been avoiding using this because again, I dropped this like 12 times and every time I open it, it's just a different surprise that pops out. So I'm not even gonna attempt to hold this up to show you guys exactly what I'm using. But just know, if you look it up on Google or something, like I'm using the darkest shade, which is the shade Pomegranate. And I'm just basically just gonna put that right above my contour. And some of the highlighter ended up getting mixed in there, so it already kind of looks like I'm putting blush and highlighter on at the same time, even though I didn't do that on purpose, but whatever. And then last but not least on my face, I'm going to be using the Morphe, the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Last but not least, I'm going to be using the NYX Brown Lip Liner in the shade Downtown Beauty, and then also the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade BLG 14 which is also called Madeline this is probably like one of my favorite lip combos but yeah guys so this is pretty much the finished look this is definitely like my go-to makeup soft glam type of look like it's nothing too crazy I feel like I went a little bit overboard with the highlighter though but I'll fix that later it's whatever I just wanted to get a video out for you guys and also kind of like update you guys and let you guys know, know what's going on and that I didn't you know get lazy on my channel for the millionth and one time like there was a genuine reason why your girl was absent for a couple of days but you know what I'm back and I'm here to stay and the content's just gonna get better and better you know what I mean so stick with your girl you know be a little bit patient be a little bit loving okay give me some tender loving care all right I'm trying all right but yeah I mean, I like I said, I really hope and pray this video is not super trapping all over the place because I be bumping from like so many different topics and subjects when I'm talking, especially if I'm like talking to you and I'm like comfortable. I'm just all over the place. So hopefully this video, you guys enjoyed it. Definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys would like to see from me in the future. You know, I do wigs, I do makeup, I do product reviews, all that fun stuff. That's pretty much it. I suck at outros, so then I go into like a whole nother tangent about something else. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl down below, and I will definitely see you guys in my next one.